Good morning from me, Benjamin Benetti, and today we're going to be discussing how to handle grief and loss. In this session, we're going to delve deeper into the different stages of grief, coping strategies, and ways to find support during difficult times. So let's begin. Grief is a complex, multifaceted response to loss. It encompasses a wide range of emotions such as sadness, anger, disbelief, guilt, and even relief. Grief can be experienced differently by each person and can be the result of various types of losses, including the death of a loved one, the end of a relationship, and the loss of a job, or even the loss of a cherished dream. The five stages of grief provide a helpful framework for the understanding of the grieving process. However, it's essential to remember that these stages are not meant to be a rigid roadmap. Grieving is a personal and individual experience, and you might not follow a predictable pattern or experience every stage. That being said, having awareness of these stages can offer an insight into your own grieving process and help you understand what others might be going through. During the initial denial stage, you might expect disbelief and having the ability to accept the loss. It's also common to feel numb, disorientated or even disconnected from reality. This stage serves as a coping mechanism that allows you to absorb the reality of the loss. As you begin to process your emotions, the denial will gradually fade and other feelings will start to surface. Anger can be a powerful emotion during the grieving process. It's crucial to recognise that anger is a normal response to loss and even can serve as a catalyst for positive change. Channeling your anger into productive activities or causes related to your loss can help you find meaning and purpose in the midst of your pain. Bargaining often involves a sense of desperation to reverse or lessen the impact of loss. You might find yourself questioning your actions, wondering if you could have done something differently or even pleading with a higher power to undo the loss. Recognising that this stage is part of the grieving process can help you better understand your emotions and work through them. Experiencing depression during the grieving process is common and can manifest itself as intense sadness, hopelessness and even physical symptoms like fatigue or loss of appetite. It's important to understand the difference between grief-related depression and clinical depression. If your depressive symptoms persist or worsen over time, it's crucial to seek professional help. Acceptance involves recognising the reality of your loss and learning to live with it. This doesn't mean that the pain has disappeared or that you're completely healed. Instead, it signifies that you're adapting to the new normal and finding ways to integrate the loss into your life. Acceptance can be an ongoing process and it's essential to be patient with yourself as you work towards it. In addition to these... Here are some coping mechanisms to help you navigate the grieving process. Creating a sense of structure and normalcy in your life can provide comfort and stability during times of grief. While it's essential to allow yourself time to grieve, it's also important not to isolate yourself. Connect with others and participate in social activities that can offer support and encouragement. Grief is a natural response to loss and it's essential to allow yourself the time and space to grieve. Avoid the temptation to rush the process or feel guilty for experiencing grief-related emotions. Create meaningful rituals or keepsakes to honour the memory of the person or the situation you've lost. This can help you find a sense of closure and create a lasting connection to your loved one or cherished experience. Even during times of grief, try where possible to find moments of gratitude. Focusing on the positive aspects of your life can help you maintain perspective and foster resilience. In addition, consider these additional resources that might help you through this challenging time. If you're employed, inquire about your company's bereavement leave policy. Taking time off work can give you the space you need to grieve and heal. Grief counselling can provide you with a safe space to explore and process your emotions develop coping strategies and work through unresolved grief issues. Look for local organisations such as hospices, hospitals or non-profit groups that offer grief support services or workshops. These resources can be invaluable in helping you to navigate the grieving process. Online forums and support groups can offer a connection and an understanding from others experiencing grief. These vital spaces can be particularly helpful for those who have difficulty in attending in-person groups prefer to remain anonymous. In addition to books and articles, there are numerous podcasts, TED Talks and YouTube channels that might offer insights, strategies and comfort during the grieving process. Remember, grieving is deeply personal and an individual journey. 
There's no right way to grieve and your experience may differ from others. Remember to be patient with yourself, acknowledge your emotions, seek support and practice self-care as you navigate this difficult time. As you continue to work through your grief, remember that healing is a gradual process. Some days will be better than others and it's important to recognise and honour your feelings as they arise. Surround yourself with a supportive network, whether that includes friends, family, support groups or mental health professionals to help you navigate this time. Finally, as you move forward, try to find meaning and purpose in your loss. This may involve honouring your loved one's memory, advocating for a cause or making positive changes in your own life. By doing so, you can transform your grief into a source of strength, resilience and growth. Thank you again for listening to me, Benjamin Bonetti. I wish you strength, healing and a sense of peace as you navigate your unique grief journey. Take care and remember to be gentle with yourself. Bye.